Hey, Reef Squad. Today we're gonna get into dying Zoas. So, me and Manny went to Reef Palooza this year in Orlando, and we both got ourselves um, some Shazam Zoas. If any of you guys don't know what Shazams are, they're actually part of the Bowser strains. They're very colorful, very high end. Um, so we decided to get a set. We got a really good deal on them. And um, they were doing really good, honestly, for, for a while. We started populating babies. At one point we had, like he had six, I had like nine. And along the way, <laughs> that's the little playing with her toy. So along the way, um, I started noticing that they were closing up a lot. Um, a lot of the heads started shrinking. I mean, now as you can see, I'm down to two heads and one looks like it's about to disintegrate. I really don't know what's going on. Sometimes it happens with more of the higher end Zoas. Um, they become finicky with the type of water that you have uh, in your tank. Maybe they just don't like the atmosphere. Maybe you're just giving them too much light. But uh, I, I've once I noticed that they were getting smaller, I started moving them around in the tank to see if, you know, the light was the issue. Come to realization, it's not the issue. They're still, they're still melting. Well, basically what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take this over to Manny's house so he can house them in his tank for a while, see if they can recuperate over there. Um, and yeah, hopefully they do, they, they do better over there. I mean, they were flourishing in my tank before, but I really don't know what's going on. All righty, Reefer, so we just got to Manny's house. Um, I'm gonna grab these guys right here. Uh, we're gonna head inside and try to find a new home for these guys. So. Uh. So yeah. We're gonna go check out Manny. He's gonna put them in his tank and hopefully they'll start to recuperate. So, hey guys, how you guys doing? Hey, where's Penny? Hey, hey Maddie. Hey. All right, guys, so we're gonna go head to his tank right now, drop these guys off, and go from there. All right, guys, so the file fish ate the Shazam. Now, at first I couldn't believe it because I've had fallfish forever, but Hector should show me a video, which we're gonna put now. Piccolo, no! Bad Piccolo, bad Piccolo, no! Why? He caught his fallfish eating his Zoa. Not just any Zoa, but the Shazams. So, mission catch fallfish in full action. All right, so, I don't know if you guys can see the fallfish. He's under my GSP colony right there right there so i don't want to knock down my zoa colony well let me see if i can move him a little bit come on buddy let's try to get him some more open space So, I'm pretty good when it comes to catching these fish. Uh, I think I'm gonna try the unorthodox the way. The hand method? Yes, the hand method. So, I'm gonna pass it over to Manny, let's see what we can do. Okay, so he's hiding in this crevice right here. Let me just get him Be on careful. Here. Of course. Be careful with the Zoa. Trying to tail him out right now. Oh, you got him. T give me, give me. Use both hands. Use both hands. Use both hands. You got him. 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 Oh! Slow down. 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 Slow down
slowly, slowly, slowly. There you go. I think we got him. Oh, so close. You don't have him. Oh. Where would he at? You went to the back? Perfect. Okay, we're gonna put him in the nano. All right, guys, so we are in luck. He actually jumped in the filter basket. Is he right there? Yeah, I'm trying to grab him. Make sure you don't hurt him. All right, so we got him. Now he's going in the nano. Welcome to your new home, buddy. This is going to be his new home for now until we figure out where we want to put him. There you have it, guys. Case closed. The Filefish ate our Shazams. If you guys like what you guys see, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell. See you guys next time.